Are you looking for the perfect travel trailer just for two? We found some amazing travel trailers for couples. Stick around folks, you're gonna wanna check these out. Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I make tons of videos all about RVing and we invite you to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you do so you'll be notified every week when we put out a brand new video. We also invite you to check out our website at rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of helpful articles all about RVing there as well. But without any further ado, let's get started on our review of awesome travel trailers just for couples. This travel trailer is the Venture Sonic Light model number SL150VRB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 3,180 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 705 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 3,885 pounds. The hitch weight is 480 pounds. It measures in at 19 feet, 11 inches long, and it can sleep two people. When you first walk into this RV on the right hand side, you'll notice the couch, which also serves as the dinette and your bed. And then as we wrap on around, you see the kitchen area. And then finally at the very back of this camper is where the bathroom is located. Now, when I first walk into this camper, the first thing I notice is Susan standing in the bathroom, shooting the video <laughs> from in there out here. It's a smaller style camper, camper, but it's got everything in here. And the way they do that is by creating multifunctional areas within the camper and this is the multifunctional area so this area serves as your living and reclining areas you have this nice comfy couch here you can sit here watch tv right across from us the tv is mounted in the perfect spot and you can be nice and comfy and have some floor space in here now the second way that you use this couch is that it becomes your dinette and now rather than having a dinette table in place all the time they have a standalone dinette table with a couple of cup holders built into it. You just set that right up in front of you here and you have a dinette table where two people could easily and comfortably eat dinner. The other advantage of a freestanding or a standalone dinette table is you can take it outside and use it there also. So you can really be very versatile with everything going on in this camper. Then finally, this is where you would sleep at night too because we have a Murphy bed and I'll show you how that works. First of all, you just jackknife the sofa out. Very simple to do. Pull this D-ring down and then drop your bed platform and just unfold this little piece. And then you just pull your mattress out and you can put your little you know your little comforter in place and there you go you're all set with your sleeping arrangements and then you put it away during the daytime now a couple things to note here are you've got a really nice window up top here you can close your shades and create some privacy at night and then there's little cubbies behind at each on uh, each of the wardrobe cabinets at the head of the bed. One side has a receptacle, the other side has USB ports, so you can charge your devices, charge your phone, whatever you need while you're sleeping at night. Over top here, you've got a couple of independent lights for reading lights, and then above that, we have some open storage with some cargo netting to hold things in place. And then of course, on each side, you've got a wardrobe cabinet, where you can hang your gar garments and there's enough space that you can even store things below that. And then in addition to all that, there is a receptacle located underneath of these cabinets on both sides. So when the bed is in its folded out position, it is about 72 inches long and it is 60 inches wide. So this would definitely be considered a short queen bed. Now I would be able to sleep comfortably on here, even though I'm 5'11", because I like it when my feet hang off the end of the bed at night. I'm one of those guys that has to be completely untucked, no tucked in sheets or nothing. So this would work fine for me. For your taller folks, it might be a little bit of a struggle because you'll be hanging way over the end of the bed. Anyway, it's a good size for this camper and it fits in here really, really well. For those of you that are interested in where the folds are in the mattress in here, they do use a tri-fold mattress in here, but you could also get away with a bi-fold mattress. You would just wanna make sure that the fold occurs 
like two thirds of the way down from the top of the bed so that your hips and lower back are above the fold. Now here we are in the kitchen area and the kitchen here is a good size. It's got everything you need up top. It also looks really nice because it's got this etched glass in here and it just, I don't know, it just adds to the, to the look of the RV if you ask me. And then you've got a huge storage cabinet here to pack away all your food and supplies and things like that. Down below, we've got a really nice size, deep round bowl sink. And then of course it comes with the cover, which is very necessary in this case, because this helps to create some cabinet space here for you. Or and then, I'm sorry, countertop space here <laughs> for you. And then it's got a two burner stove where you can cook all your meals. Now, one thing this doesn't have is a backsplash of any kind. Um, and so when you're cooking here, if anything splatters, you know, it's going to get on your walls. So if I were to buy this camper, one of the first things I might do is go ahead and add some sort of peel and stick sort of backsplash in here. It's light, it's easy to install, and it will protect your walls a little bit as well. Now down below your sink, your stovetop is where your microwave is located. And then below that you have additional storage. And then of course you have a couple of full extension plus these drawers come all the way out so you can store away all of your kitchen utensils. And of course, next to that, we have another cabinet door, which offers even more storage. Now, right across from the kitchen sink and stove and microwave is where your refrigerator is located. This is an eight cubic foot fridge and freezer, nice, big, deep freezer, very good size fridge for this size camper. Uh, this is a 12 volt fridge, so it runs on battery or shore power, and it has a compressor in it to keep things cold. It's very efficient and it gets cold very quickly. So here I am in the shower as usual in the bathroom, and this has a corner style shower, as you can see. I really like these kind of showers. They have the glass doors that roll around and close. It just don't get water everywhere. You have plenty of room to move around in here. It's just a great setup in my opinion. Now behind me here, are a couple of corner shelves where you'd be able to put your soap and shampoo bottles. And as far as height goes in here, well, as you guys know, I'm 5'11", but in the skylight, we have about, I don't know, six feet, seven inches of height in here. So that's pretty good. And the overall height in this camper, by the way, it actually changes a little bit because the front and the back slope down. But throughout most of the camper, you're at about six feet, eight inches, and then it does slope down a little bit in the bathroom to about six feet, four inches. Now, just outside of the shower is where the vanity is located. And this is a really nice setup too. I like the way they've done it. They've got the medicine cabinet up top, and then they've created a two tier vanity uh, top. So you have extra countertop space here, open storage below, a very good size vanity sink, receptacle on the side, and then down below that, you've got some additional storage under your sink. So now Susan's in the shower, I'm sitting on the commode, and this bathroom runs all the way across the whole back of the RV, so it's eight feet wide. They, this particular RV, they've chosen to make this a gigantic wardrobe closet in here, plenty of storage space as well, and these two big doors close. Uh, but since I'm sitting here, they're open. Now, if you sit here to do the elbow test, if these doors were closed, I would not pass the elbow test on this side. So if you need elbow room, just open the door before you go to the bathroom, I guess. On the other side, there's plenty of room and the bathroom itself feels very spacious. This travel trailer is the Coachman Northern Spirit model number 1943RB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,926 pounds a cargo carry capacity of 1,574 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,500 pounds. The hitch weight rating on it is 520 pounds and it measures in at 24 feet even and it sleeps up to four people. When you first walk into this RV on the left-hand side, you'll find the refrigerator and the bathroom is located in the back of this trailer. Then we wrap around into the kitchen and living area and towards the front of the camper is where the bed is located. Now, when you first walk into this camper, it feels a little weird because it feels just a little teeny bit cramped at the doorway because the refrigerator's here and this cabinet is here. But once you get past those, man, wow, it's, it's got a nice wow factor in here for sure. The uh, recliners, which is also your dinette area, are in a nice big slide out. It's about three feet deep. 
So that opens up and creates a lot of floor space in here. I'll start here in right by the entry door. And the first thing you have here on your left hand side are these two large pantry cabinets up top here. Now the shelves are fixed in place. You can't move them around, but still you have plenty of them to be able to store lots of items in here. And then down below, there's an open storage area. They've got a trash can in here that you could certainly keep right here, or you could also use it as a shoe storage area. Now just past that is where the refrigerator is located, and it is a huge refrigerator. Now the swing of these doors um, I kind of like the way they're oriented right now because if you're outside of your camper, you want to pop in, grab a cold drink, you know, you don't have to go all the way through the camper. You just reach in here, grab what you need, close everything up. I will also point out this is a 12 volt refrigerator and that means that it'll run off of your battery or off of shore power. These 12 volt fridges are awesome. They get cold much faster and they're much safer to use than their, you know, their propane older cousin variety, if you will. Uh, you don't have to worry about turning on and off the propane while you're traveling up and down the road. These will stay cold while you're traveling because your battery can power them for you. So on the right hand side is where the kitchen is located. It's a really great looking kitchen. Up top here, you'll notice that there's a microwave oven and it's a great size for this size camper. Then you'll notice that these two storage cabinets have the black glass inlays, which really is a nice feature to have. And then you've got a really wide open storage cabinet here. Now, a lot of times you won't see a shelf in this cabinet in a lot of travel trailers, but you can buy an interior shelf kit at like Walmart or Amazon. We use one inside of our pantry cabinet and it just creates a shelf in the middle and then you can stack more things above and below it. Now, just below that, you've got your whole countertop area here and, of course, your sink. Now, this countertop has a lot of space on it. There's a receptacle right here on the side of the cabinet, so you can plug in a toaster, coffee maker, what have you. And then it's got a really nice uh, double bowl sink in here. And, of course, you've got your sink covers. Now, one thing that they did in this camper that I think is totally cool, I've never seen this before, is that you can put your little sink covers right up there. They're in place, out of the way. I wouldn't travel down the road with these up here, but when you're using your kitchen, or let's say you just want to use half, you can pop one in place. You can still use your other sink, and you have all this counter space that you can use. I'm going to build one of these inside of our camper, too, because we just love the idea of being able to store those away somewhere so they're not in the way. Currently, we put them down in a cabinet, Underneath, it's a little inconvenient to reach them. So this is a really great idea. Uh, as we wrap on around here, we've got a three burner propane stove. And then down below that, we have a real oven with the knobs that light up and everything. And then of course you have storage underneath of both the sink and the countertop area. And then you've got three full extension drawers here for all of your kitchen utensils. Now, this kitchen has a really neat feature in it, and since this um, trailer has no dinette, what they've done is they've extended the countertop space, put a couple of bar stools in here, and so you can use this area to sit down and enjoy a meal anytime that you like. I really love the setup in here. It's very smart, very well thought out. Now, just behind here is where your entertainment center is located. They have a very nice sized TV in here. This can actually pull out and swivel so you can see it from bed, or you can just leave it straight on and you can lay back in your recliner and watch TV that way as well. Below that, you've got open storage here. They even have a fast charge here so you can set your phone right on it for you. You've got your radio off to the side and then open storage down below that. And then you've got some doors here with even more storage behind there. Now, here I am in the living area, I guess you would call it. It's also your dinette area, believe it or not. We're right across from the kitchen and they have it set up with theater seating in here. So it's nice and comfy. These seats do recline. They don't go back very far, but you can still sit here and relax and watch TV and enjoy yourself. A couple of cup holders built into the center here and this lifts up so you have a place to store all of your remote controls. I don't know about you, we probably have 10 remote controls in our RV. It's amazing. So you need a place to store them all. Now, what I always look for in an area like this is, is there a receptacle nearby? So if I want to charge my phone or my computer, 
or my Kindle or whatever, uh, I can do that. And there are a couple of receptacles off to my right so that I'm able to do that. So this is a great setup. Now on each side, there's an end table. One side has closed storage behind the cabinet door. And then this side over here has open storage. Both are convenient and make a lot of sense. It gives you an option and choice as to how and where you'd like to store things. Now, right behind the recliner is where your table stows away. And this table will come out and set up right in front of these recliners. And this is also used as your dinette. So I love that it's a multifunctional area. It's not always a dinette and you can pull out your table and set it up when you want or pull it out of the way and enjoy the floor space or you can also use this table outside if you wish because it is a freestanding table so here we are at the very front of the travel trailer and this is where the owner's bed is located let's see how big this is it sure looks like it's 80 inches to me sure enough it is 80 inches by 60 inches and so this is a residential style queen size bed in here so that's fantastic especially for you taller folks that are looking for a longer bed and then you'll notice you've got your cabinetry all around the bed there's plenty of storage located up top so you can put all your clothing away there's also an open shelf under here lights underneath that turn on and off right at the light itself which is a nice feature and then on either side there's a mirrored wardrobe cabinet with a bar up top so you can hang all your garments in here and use that for storage as well. Also, I'll note that on each side of the bed, there is an end table and there's also a receptacle and USB ports on both sides of the bed. So underneath of this bed, there is an awesome storage set up under here. And it's got a combination of open storage on one side and then drawers that pull out on the other side. It's even got a place for a laundry basket under here, shoe storage, hat storage, however you'd like to use it. But it's a very smart way to take advantage and create as much accessibility to this space as possible. So here I am in the bathroom and I'm standing in the shower like I always am. And as you guys know, I am 5'11". Uh, and there is a lot of headroom over my head in here, but I'll still give you a measurement. Now they did install a skylight in here as well. They probably didn't really need to, but it's nice because it does allow some extra lighting into the bathroom. And into the skylight area, you have a full eight feet, eight inches of headroom. And in the entire camper, in the center of the camper anyway wow you've got seven feet of headroom so for you taller folks you know this might be a really good choice for a travel trailer for you because of all the headroom that you have now this is a corner style um, shower and i really like it because it's got these glass doors that wrap around and when you're in here taking a shower you know there's uh, the corner style showers just make me feel like there's plenty of elbow room plenty of space to move around in here you'll also notice there's a shampoo and a soap shelf back here there's even a little spot here where you could put your foot up and for you ladies that want to shave your legs that probably makes life a little easier for you also the shower sprayer pulls off the wall so you can use that as you like as well now just outside of the shower this is where your medicine cabinet is located up top. It's got some closed storage up top, open storage down below. Your vanity top has a very good size sink in here. It's also got a receptacle off to the right hand side. And then down below, there's additional storage. Now, just outside the shower on the right hand side, you've got this storage cabinet here, which has a couple of shelves built in. So plenty of room for your linens or toilet supplies. There's a couple of hooks on the wall for your towels. So they're within easy reach when you get out of the shower. And finally, when you sit on this commode, it's not going to pass the elbow test. But I will say this with this door shut, it's a big enough bathroom that you don't feel very cramped in here at all. This travel trailer is the Forest River R-Pod, model number RP202. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,574 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,911 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 6,485 pounds. The hitch weight is 485 pounds. It measures in at 25 feet even, and it can sleep up to three people. When you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk right into the kitchen area. As you wrap on around, you've got your dinette and entertainment area. In the middle of this travel trailer is where the bathroom is located, and at the very front is where the private owner's bedroom is. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, my first thought is, 
hey, you know, it feels really good in here for a smaller travel trailer. And part of the reason for that is because the dinette itself is in about a three foot slide out. So it opens up the room quite a bit and makes a lot of floor space in here. Now this camper also has a rear kitchen and it's also an inline kitchen, which means all of your appliances are in one line. Now your refrigerator is located right by the entry door, which you know what? It's not a bad location for your fridge because you can be outside and having a good time. You need to pop in, just grab a soda or a water or whatever. And you don't have to run through the whole camper to get one. You can just pop in here, open the fridge, and there you go. Now, the refrigerator that's in here was a little bit of a surprise for me because it's an absorption style refrigerator, which means this fridge runs off of either shore power or propane. And we aren't seeing very many travel trailers these days with this style of fridge in them anymore. Most of them are moving over to the 12 volt models. The absorption style refrigerators take much longer to get cold. Uh, we have one in our class C RV and we have to plug everything in at least 12 hours before we want to start loading food into the refrigerator to give it time to get cold. And the other big uh, thing to worry about with this style of refrigerator is that your trailer needs to be really, really level for them to work properly and efficiently. But all that being said, it is a good size fridge and separate freezer, and it's in a great location. Now, as we make our way across up top here, you'll notice you've got these three storage cabinets up top with glass inlays. Very nice look. I like the lighter wood cabinetry as well. It just keeps things bright, fresh, and modern in here. Just below that, you have a really nice window on the back of the travel trailer. And then you have your kitchen area with your really nice sized single bowl round deep sink with a gooseneck faucet overhead. Next to that, you've got your double burner range and then you've got a little bit of countertop space. Now, ideally, I would prefer to see them sort of, you know, maximize the countertop space and maybe take these burners and turn them so they're back and front. And that would give you more countertop space off to the side. There's also a receptacle here, but in my opinion, it's on the wrong side of where you would need it. Like if you set up a coffee pot or a toaster, it'd probably be over here where your countertop space is, but the receptacle's all the way over here. Now, the reason for that is because this is actually an exterior wall to the camper and you just don't find receptacles in exterior walls of campers hardly ever, if at all. Now, down below all of that, uh, you have a nice convection style microwave oven, which is great because you can bake things or microwave things in the same space, very efficient, good use of space. And then below that, you've got a nice lighted cabinet with plenty of storage underneath your kitchen sink. Now on the other side of the opening that comes in from the entry door to the trailer, right across from the fridge, you've got this really nice big cabinet space here. Now. There are tracks in here with a couple of shelves and these shelves are fully adjustable. So you can put them at any height that you want inside the cabinet space, which is fantastic. And there's another wide open cabinet down below as well. So here I am in the dinette area as we wrap around from the kitchen and the dinette here is a pretty good size. I mean, you can see me sitting here. There's a, there's a strap here holding the table in place, but uh, you know, you could sit four people here pretty comfortably. You might have to squish in a little bit depending on the size of the people. Uh, but I do like the fact that there are three windows in the slide out. You can open them all up, get a nice cross breeze. It's got an upgraded fixture above. This top will drop down and this can become another bed for you. And if you do that, you would end up with about, eh, about six feet by you know, 40 inches of space here. So an average sized adult or a couple of small kids could sleep here pretty easily. Down below each of the dinette benches, there is storage underneath both of them that you can access and take advantage of as well. One thing that's missing in this slide, however, uh, is a receptacle in the dinette area. Uh, I know that Susan and I, when we work in our RV, we use the dinette as our office. And so it's great to have a receptacle there because we can plug in our computers, keep them charged, what have you. It's just kind of missing here. There are other receptacles around that you could use, like one here on the wall. And you just have to run your extension cord from here over to where your computers are. 
you know, again, you won't find receptacles typically in slide out walls or exterior walls of campers. This is an interior wall. And of course, that's why you'll find your receptacle there. Uh, sometimes you'll find receptacles underneath the dinette booths. That's another good spot to put them, uh, but not in this camper. Now, right across from the dinette is where your TV and entertainment center is located. So you've got a nice TV that mounts on the wall here. Below that, you've got some of your controls for your slide outs and all that kind of stuff, awnings and what have you. You've got some open storage with the cargo netting here, which I really like. I like the cargo netting look, and it also holds everything in place for you. And then down below that, you've got a fireplace, which is a great feature in a smaller camper that's, gosh, this thing's less than 25 feet long. So that works really, really well. Just next to the entertainment area here, we have a really large wardrobe closet. There's a bar up top. You can hang things in here or just use it for storage, however you would like. And then there's additional storage down below. So just past the kitchen area and entertainment area is where the bathroom is located in the middle of this travel trailer. Susan's standing in the bathroom now and shooting into the bedroom, which is all the way at the front. Now at the front of this camper, you'll notice you've got this really large window up here. It opens up, you've got a privacy screen and a shade screen so you can black it out at night when you're sleeping or leave the screen open and get some nice ventilation in here as well. There are also windows that are on each side of this bedroom so that helps with additional ventilation. Now on each side of the bed, you'll notice that you've got a wardrobe cabinet that's lighted. So when you open it up, you can see what's in there. You've got a bar on the top of each of these cabinets so you can hang all of your garments there. Uh, one thing that they did not do in this camper is put a bank of cabinets above. We see that very often over top of the wardrobe cabinets. It just gives you extra storage in here but in this camper, they did not do that, probably because they didn't want to block the view of the window, but it does cost a little bit in storage space. Now, on each side of the bed, there's a good size nightstand that's here, and each nightstand has its own receptacle and USB ports, so electronically, you are all set and ready to go. Now, the bed itself, let's see what this measures in. So it's 74 inches by... 60 inches so it would be considered a short queen bed and if you lift the bed underneath you've got access to some storage space under there too now one feature i really like in here is the tv location they've kind of got a built-in entertainment center here and you can put a really large tv into this area and your cable and receptacle and antennas are all here for you and pre-wired in place so your TV will hang here perfectly. And then down below that, we have some open storage with these bungee cords to hold things in place. But all in all, it really just gives it a very nice look. So here we are in the bathroom. It's considered a mid-bath because it's right in the middle of this camper, but it runs the whole entire width of the camper. So it's a pretty large bathroom for a smaller camper, for sure. Now the shower in here is a very nice setup. Uh, it's got three shelves in the corner for your soap and shampoo, removable wand and all that good stuff. The shower door in here is a curtain, but the curtain's mounted into a track system. And the track at the top at least bows out into the room, so it even gives you a little more room while you're in the shower. Now the height in here, let's check it out. You guys know that I'm 5'11", but your headroom into the skylight area is about 6 feet 6 inches. And your headroom throughout the entire camper outside of the shower uh, is about, what is that, six feet, eight inches. So a decent amount of space in here, especially for you taller folks. So Susan and I just switched places. Now she's standing in the shower shooting the rest of the bathroom. As you can see here, it's a nice setup in here. You've got a really good sized medicine cabinet up top with a little bit of open storage built in. You have a nice size countertop area around your vanity sink. You also have a receptacle here. And then down below your sink, you've got some storage there. And then off to the right, you've got this nice mirrored cabinet, which could serve as your linen closet or your linen cabinet. And then down below that, you've got a couple of fully extendable drawers. Finally, they went ahead and put the central vac in the bathroom area. So you can essentially sweep the entire trailer to the middle. Everything goes right into your central vac. 
As far as the bathroom goes, and I'm sitting on the commode right now, I passed the elbow test with flying colors. Let us know which one of these travel trailers you like the most and why in the comments down below. We'd love to hear all your thoughts about all the amazing features that are inside these RVs. And we're not the only ones that read the comments, by the way. You know, the manufacturers comb through our comments as well because they want to hear what you think too so they can make better and better RVs for us down the road. But if you want to see more campers for couples, just click the box down below, and Susan and I will see you in the next video.